What's up mga kakokwa? Welcome back to my channel. This is our third vlog and I just received not just one but two Shopee packages that I've ordered last June 6 for their free shipping um, sale. And today we're gonna be reviewing one of this and this is the Jinhao 992 fountain pen. <music> Okay, so this package contains the Jinhao 992 fountain pen. <laughs> okay, so this package contains the Jinhao 992 fountain pen. They call it the translucent version, but in the uh, fountain pen community, kinds of this pen, we call it the demonstrator pen. So this only costs 70 pesos cash on delivery no shipping charges and this is how it looks like okay hey! so why am i speaking in english when i promise you guys that i'll be doing the next video in filipino so first we will um try to weigh this first titimbangin muna natin siya with the cap and without the cap on so that you would know how light or heavy this pen would be para you won't be having any um, concerns kapag binili nyo ba ito kung it would feel right within your hands when you're writing with it so to weigh it para timbangin natin we will be using um, a baking weighing scale you can actually buy this at Japan Home and sa Miniso for a very much low price so with the cap on um, this fountain pen only weighs Wow, 16 grams. So, napakagaan. Um, without the cap, or unposted, it only weighs 9 grams. That makes the uh, the cap to weigh um, 7 grams. So, the only problem with this pen would be the length. Um, some of you prefer um, oversized pens. So, I don't think um, this Jinhao... Uh, Jinhao um, 922 uh, 992 sorry um, would be appropriate for the size of your hand so let's move with the size so this pen with the cap on it's 5.4 inches in length and without the cap it only is 4.6 inches so um, pens like this you would be really using the cap in order for you to write with it properly unless you're a fan of small pens like the fountain uh, like the the pilot prera and um, the kaweko uh, fountain pens which are really tad short for size comparisons um, if this is the the shorter edge of the of the grade 4 pad the Jinhao fountain pen with the cap on is almost about the size of it same with if we are going to post it doesn't make much of a difference so aside from that um, this fountain pen even though it's just 70 pesos it already it already comes with a um, standard international converter that looks very much of a converter in a lummy fountain pen it's plastic i think the only metal here is the band and it is kind of maluwag <laughs> but i think it will do the job and it wouldn't be a cause of much leak. And aside from that, I think we can convert this fountain pen into a eyedropper one. Because hey, if you could see, um, there is already an O-ring attached at the attached to the edge of the uh, the section. 
so you would just have to put some silicone grease in order to prevent leakage and if you're wondering how would it look like um, if on the hand or if you're about to write so my hand is um, 7.8 inches from the tip of my middle finger up to the edge of my palm here so if I'm going to write with it without a cap on it really fi feels like a fountain uh, a pilot a pilot prayer on my hand um, it's really really short unlike the other pens that I have tried like the platinum century 3776 at least there's a bit of an allowance so it's not really that much short but uh, this one um, really feels like a, uh, a, a pilot Pereira. if I'm going to put the cap on that makes a lot of difference because uh, the cap has a weight to it and um, it kind of balances the the writing experience um, it kind of pushes the nib up not much of a springy one but there's a little weight on on it you would really feel na medyo bagsak talaga on the side of the cap so we will ink this um, fountain pen with a standard black muna tayo i'm using here a parker queen black um, if you're wondering why I'm using Parker Queen Black, um, the color kasi is much muted, so um, it really gives the uh, the fountain pen experience compared to the other inks. Na ano. I'm going to mention it. Um, the, the 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 competitor for the Parker Queen is yung ano yung Pilot uh, fountain pen ink, and they are available in much smaller bottles or in much sm smaller volumes and the color on the pilot uh, fountain pen ink it's rich and very vibrant very bright uh, compared to the parker pen na medyo muted i'm not going to say dull pero muted and because there's somehow um, um a dullness to it may mga areas kasi na it would give you shading unlike with the pilot fountain pen ink na it's very consistent so very bright so parang medyo sign pen kind of feel yung pagsusulat with the pilot fountain pen ink unlike with the parker queen and this i think costs around 280 pesos in some store it costs around 280 uh, 299 pesos but that is already for um 57 ml so medyo madami dami din siya Unlike with the uh, Pilot Fountain Pen Ink na I think 30ml lang yata. So let me just uh, fill this up with an ink of cam and then I'll get back to you guys. 12 seconds later. Hindi naman siya medyo mahirap i-fill up. And before ko pala siya um, nilagyan ng ink, I tried to move the nib, nib part and the feed kung um, we will be able to um, swap nibs or magkakaroon ba ng problema with it kung if we're going to clean it thoroughly by removing the feed and the nib and I was amazed na unlike the other fountain pens na medyo mahirap tanggalin um, this one is very easy to um, to remove and um, meron siyang mark actually na logo ng Jinhao on this part it's not just you, can, you can't see it on cam pero meron siyang logo dito ng Jinhao na magiging palatandaan mo on where are you going to reinsert the top portion of the nib with the feed on you don't have to twist it kasi it's just friction fit um, the, the nib and the feed is just perfect for the hole inside the section I was able to fill this fountain pen with just one go. I don't have to um, move out the air again and then fill it up again unlike with the other uh, fountain pens. So I'm very amazed for 70 pesos. Um, napaka ergonomic niya and napaka daling um, i maintain. So we will proceed now with the uh, writing sample. Um, I haven't tested it yet and the nib comes with a fine uh, nib. I'm not sure of the size because this is one of the smallest um, nibs that I have, even smaller than the Pilot Pereira. 
Pero I might just be confusing. I ano uh, I might be just confused kasi the nave tends to go narrower. Um papunta dun sa opposite side ng um ng point ng nib natin. So it might be the same size with the pilot Pereira. Pero again, this is uh, this has been one of the smallest nibs that I have tried. We will be using the same paper, the Easy Right pad paper. Um, you can check out all my previous video about the details of this pad paper. But to cut it short, um, this is one of the uh, fine papers that you can use for a fountain pen that is available here in the Philippines. So this pen is um, a. We have a hard, a hard stop there. <laughs> this is a Jin Hao. 992 um, fountain pen. It has a fine nib, and this is ink with a Parker Quink black. I can see um, some shading with it. Because it might be because of the ink, and I've noticed this already on the other fountain pens. Kapag ginagamit ng sa ng Parker Queen Black, and not just the black, also with the blue, blue black, and the red one. Though very um, rare yung stock ng red and the reds. Mm -mm. Usually, yung available is the black, blue, black, and medyo um, rare din yung blue, pero not as rare as the red one. So, um, this fountain pen is not actually flexible. Um, very stiff yung nib niya. Uh, but still, we'll do the tests. So, we will do the horizontal lines first. The verticals. And I will try to press a little bit if there would be a difference. There is, pero whenever we are trying to um, put pressure on it, looks like the paper will be um, cut through. And kamera na ano, walang bleed through. Sinya lang medyo damage yung paper natin on the back side. So I do not um, recommend it to be flexed. Because aside from damaging the, the paper, you're also damaging your nib as well. And pens like this, na masyadong mura, it's not worth it to have it prepared. It's best to just buy for another one. Which I do not recommend because one of the reasons why we are using a fountain pen is to reduce plastic. Wow. Diba? And if we're going to make it as if it is a disposable one, it defeats the purpose. Okay, so we'll do some S's. It is smooth, um, pero it has some kind of a feedback. Pero yung feedback niya is not like a platinum fountain pen na you would be able to hear it. This one is more of just a feeling. Um, parang kinakaladkad mo yung ano yung yung fountain pen yun lang. Um, it's not really really smooth. Meron siyang certain feedback. Na for some yung mga fan ng Lamy ng ng uh, other fountain pens would be feeling a bit of awkwardness. Kasi again, this is a cheap pen. Baka mga isipin nila is um, it's not smooth kasi the materials used are not um, are not quality grade mga ganon. Pero again, for people na amateur like me and for students probably this would just be fine. Okay, let's do some circles. Circles or spirals, I don't know how you call it. I'm noticing na medyo darker yung shade niya whenever we are going down strokes and kapag medyo upward uh, upward medyo light yung color niya um this could be a product of the ink and the the material itself um kasi with the other fountain pens that i've used um i'm not noticing the difference in shades with the strokes eh. 
more like the distribution of the ink pero this one parang medyo mas mababa yata yung la yung distribution ng ink niya whenever you are going upwards compared to downwards so um just finish this one with a coat um, and since today is um june um medyo malapit na independence day natin so um i think the best coat uh, for this one would be the one coming from Manuel Alcazar. Did you see that, guys? <laughs> Nagblot yung ink. I don't know. I don't know the reason why. Pero biglang nag spurt out. So I don't know if this pen is damaged or not. Kasi this has been the first time that I ex experience it. Medyo buo buo pa yung ink natin. Oh. So let me just clean this one first. So it's kind of disturbing um, to experience this um, on the first few days that you have the pen. So parang um i'm being appalled um if i will be using this as a workhorse pen because imagine if you will be using this this fountain pen for a test examination or um let's put it in a more critical one let's say bar exams or your board exams and this would happen it will really ruin your day because um instead of just focusing on the answers you would be having another problem which is yung blotting ng ink i don't know if it's because i pulled the nib earlier and have replaced it so medyo at first okay na sa akin eh um pero ngayon parang nag, medyo nagdududa ako if i can use this as a work first pen Sayang, it feels good on the hand. Siguro, it would be just fine as um, standby pen, probably. Or something that you could test out um, for inks na you are not sure kung would be good for your most expensive uh, or the your, your more expensive fountain pens. Siguro, this could be your laboratory for, for the inks. Hmm... Medyo nagulat din ako doon. Anyway, let's continue with the quote. We just have to start all over again. So this is how the writing sample from a Jinhao 992 fountain pen looks like. Um, it's quite good. Um, feels like you're writing with a Parker Vector fountain pen. Um, pero if you skip this, uh, if you skip to this part of the video, you might have missed um, a very disturbing event. The fountain pen bled out uh, while I was writing the code a while ago. So. In that case, um, kind of makes me half-hearted to use this as a workhorse pen. Because in cases like, um, it would be a decisioning factor on your future, like the bar exams, board exams. It can actually be the cause of your failure instead of helping you out to achieve your, your goal or your career. So... For things that are not really that, um, um, if it's not going to be a deciding factor, I think you, you can use this fountain pen um, for your daily uh, daily writings, um, things that won't be part of the collections na ginagawa mo. Kasi some people do journals, some people write whatever there is on the what is what is on their mind parang it's going to be a collection of their thoughts uh, 
or if it's just going to be some sample writing or some um, uh, out of the blue writing mga ganon this would do um, just to start you off with fountain pens this would do instead of buying fountain pens na sobrang mahal tapos you would just end up not being a fan of fountain pens but then again um, it's a good start for a very low price you won't be shelling out that much tapos it comes with a converter pa unlike with the other fountain pens that you don't ha uh, you don't have to get it so if you like this video kindly give this uh, a thumbs up and comment down below um, what do you want to see next or if there is anything that you would like to say any reactions i hope they're not violent ones and make sure to subscribe to this channel and share this video para medyo dumami dami na tayong mga kokwa all right so till next time peace out bye, -bye.